Namaste all of you. So what happening guys? This is me Chandu and welcome back to another brand new tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about how can you convert one normal image to pencil sketch using Python and OpenCV. So I need to wish all of you happy Ganesh Chaturthi 2021. And this is a special video of Ganesh Chaturthi. So let's get started and jump on the code. So what we are going to cover today, we are take one real images that's mean normal rgb images and convert this image into like that that's mean fancy sketch images so let's get started and jump on our business studio code so all right so right now you can see i will open my business studio code and i'm going to click here to create new python file here so let's say app.py and our python file is created so now we need to actually load the images from our drip tree. So while loading the images, we're going to use the open CV library in Python. So in order to install this library, just open your command prompt here and type here pip install and the library name is nothing but called the open CV Python. Okay, and hit enter. So I'm going to install this library because I already installed this library before in my system. So I'm going to click here to close that. Okay, so now we're going to import the open CV library. So just import cb2 not open cb. Okay, so now we need to actually load the images. So for testing purpose, we're going to use these uh, images for the Lord Ganesha. Okay, so let's uh, load these images from here. So let's say cb2.imread to read the images from a directory. I need to put here the path of the images to see your file name. So let's say Ganesha dot uh, jpg. This one the extension as the png. So if I want to show the images, so let's say cb 2 show, and inside this need to put here the window name. So our window name, let's say any kind of name you can actually pass here. Let's say frame. And you need to put here the mat. This mat is nothing but your image name. So let's say image equal to cb 2 read this one. And copy and paste it on here. And also you need to put here one white key to actually uh, white your images uh, in a pop-up. Save and run the code and see the output. Wow that's work fine but the problem is image white and the height is so big so you can divide the height and the white and make it small so you can do that so let's say uh, image dot shape okay it will the shape is actually give us three things first one is the height and the second one is the white and the number of channels so you can divide the uh, height and the white and uh, you can resize the image just by using the cb2 library here so cb2 dot resize and inside this, you put here the image as in your part of the images. So this kind is, is the image. And you can divide them. So let's say into tuple height by two and the white by two. Okay. So let's put here the same name for the images. So let's say image and run the code and see the output. Okay. Uh, we got an error. This is nothing but cannot put the size. So maybe we got here one error because of the plotting point number so we need to put here the integer number here okay because you know uh the resizing we should take the in, uh, integer number uh, not the floating point number so save and run the code and see the output okay right now you can see our our picture is looks so good so we can uh convert this image into grayscale uh, because you need to convert this image into sketch pencil sketch so for that you need to convert this image into grayscale okay so let's convert this image into grayscale. Let's cb2 dot cbt color. And inside that, you need to put here your image path. So let's say image and cb2 dot cbt color. Okay, not cbt color here. You need to put here the color code. So let's say in cb2, there should be some color code. Let's say color dot bgr2 gray. Okay, so this is nothing but the code for actually converting this a uh, color uh breathe your image to grayscale image because you know opencb actually read the image into bgr format not rgb bgr format so you converted this image into the grayscale image so let's say gray equal to cb2 dot cb color and image and the cb2 dot color bgr to gray so let's copy this out and see the output it's our image is converted to the grayscale now whoa that's fine our image is converted on the grayscale images so we can uh, do the next operation here okay so now what you have to do we need to actually 
convert this image into negative images. So for actually converting this image to neg negative images, we can actually uh, minus the higher pixel value to the grayscale images. So let's say 255 minus grayscale images. And you can put here into variable, let's say call invert and copy this and see the output that our image is converted onto the negative image or not wow that's fine our image is converted into negative images you can also use a bitwise operator here to actually use that so let's use that here let's say cv2.bitwise not it also draw the same thing that you are actually uh minus here from the grayscale images so let's put here the gray and let's put here the same variable name let's say invert equal to and let's comment out this line and see the output. Yeah, that's also for fine here. You can also use the 255 minus grayscale or bitwise not. Okay. So now the step number two. So we need to convert this image into Gaussian blur or blur. So you can use the blur, Gaussian blur, median blur, any kind of uh, classes from the CB2. So I might actually use the Gaussian blur here. Let's say Gaussian blur. And inside this, you need to put here some parameter. So first parameter is nothing but the source and the kernel size and the sigma x. So by default, sigma x is zero. We can also put here the zero here. So let's say put here the invert and the your kernel size. So let's say 20, 20 and let's say zero. Okay, so our image is converted into blur. So let's say blur equal to this one and see the output. Save and run the code here. Okay, we got an error. This is called the assertion field error. I think we need to actually increase the size of the kernel. So let's say 25 and uh, let's say 25. Okay, now we'll run the code again and see the output. Okay, that's fine. So our image is converted into oh, the blurring effect for the Gaussian, Gaussian blur, negative image to the Gaussian blur. Now, what we have to do, we need to actually also convert this image into inverted blur. That's been negative blur. So you can copy this out here and paste it on here. And just need to put here the blur here. So let's say blur. And let's put the variable there. Let's say invert blur. Okay, copy this out and paste it on here. Okay, sorry. Uh, I think we need to copy this and paste it on here and on the code for again. Okay, so right now you can see here our image is converted into the uh, inverted blur okay okay so now this is the final step that we need to follow and please focus on that so we need to actually mixing the grayscale images that's in this one with the inverted blur images using cb2 dot divide then we can got the sketch images that's mean tangential sketch images so let's say do that cb 2debyte okay and inside that you need to put here the source number one so our source number one is grayscale images and the source number two is nothing but our invert blood images okay and this is our final output so let's say this is now our output okay so this output is nothing but our sketch okay so you can also say that sketch as key uh E T T S. Uh, I think I'm correct. Okay, and copy this and paste it on here and see it's work fine or not. Okay, we got this kind of black screen uh, because we don't put here any scale, so we need to also put here the scale. This is mandatory scale. So let's say scale two five six point zero. This one the initial scale we need to follow. Okay, so right now you can see here our image is converted onto normal image to sketch pencil sketch so you can also save these images here on our directory this kind of directory so we can say that uh, cb2 cb2 dot i am right okay and we can put here the image name that's the output dot png and you need to put here this our output sketch this one okay so how you run the code and it will actually uh, generate here one file. Okay, you can see output.png. So I'm going to click it to close that and see the output. Okay, this is the output of the images. Okay, output of the images. So let's let's do the same thing for the 
this one we can also comment out those lines uh, we don't need that i am show and the white key because we are going to actually save the uh, file here okay so we can also comment out these lines we don't need that and we are going to actually change here it's a ganesha 2.jpg so just run the code and see the output here okay okay we got here the output wow that's work fine this is the actual images and this is nothing but the converted images so what into the first images it will gone because of our file name is same so you can also use the random to actually generate some random kind of image name we just put here one uh, what you call one number and image should be the different so let's put here the curly brackets and let's say format and type here random dot radiant okay this uh, this one random radiant and you have to give here one range let's say 1000 and now it's time to run the code and see the output on the screen okay it's running you can see your generate one a uh, random number okay these images and these images all the same and we can also now we can change the image name so let's say image number three and run the code here and see it different it generate different number that means this image is looks like different and this one is the actual output so if you want to actually get the real image sketch you can also uh, skip these lines and hide at the white of the channels you can also skip these lines and run the code for again and you got uh, the another image with the same resolution that you actually given here okay i think you got error uh, okay image is not defined okay because of okay we need to save the code and run the code for again and i think it's not give the error okay this one yeah right now the image is the actual images that we got here uh, is actually based on here that's me it's not actually uh, change the dimensionality here that's my height and the wide of the channels because we give here on the first images for actually showing purpose to see the i am sure so you can also remove these lines okay and make sure to save the code otherwise it will give you the error and you can also change this one let's see, uh, see for the first images one uh, ganesha.png and run the code for last time okay and you can see it generate this one images okay that's fine you can also play with your kernels you can see at 25 you can also put here 21 here or 22 whatever you can okay and run the code and see the output again and see okay this one this one also work fine here it's based on your gaussian blur your kernel okay so this is the tutorial hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any uh, any update i'll be back with the other tutorial till then take care and bye bye